Now let's get started on making a plan plan sheet definition file, essentially a double plan sheet. So we're going to get started back in our sheet seeds folder. We're going to right click and copy on our plan or profile start seed DGN file. We're going to copy and paste it and then rename it. We'll call this plan plan lib, and then we will proceed to open that file and then go ahead and make sure you are in the proper workflow, the Open Roads Drawing uh, production, and also select in place name boundary. And we're going to choose our plan, civil plan option. And the first part of this video is going to be just like the last one where we're creating a plan sheet profile with one exception and that's going to be how we adjust our left and right offsets. And so let's go ahead and proceed with setting our scale. It's going to be our 1 to 500 ratio in our examples and we're going to give it a name A1 plan plan. Our start station can be 0 again and then our stop station again is just going to be 350 and then this is our difference. Because we're doing two plan views, we're going to be cutting our left and right offsets in half. And so if we were to go back and open up our plan and profile border cell library file, you would see in that particular model in that cell library that those particular rectangles are a distance of 100 meters high for both of the plan views instead of 200 meters in height, which we used for a single plan view. Our overlap will remain zero and our boundary cords we will leave those set then at 20. So now we need to place our clipping boundary and so we will select in our default one view to initiate the placement of our boundary. Select again to accept it and then one last time to open up the create drawing dialog. We'll go ahead now and complete this dialog like we did in our prior exercise. So you can see that we have the settings there. And if your configurations are set properly, there's no need to go in and select these seed files, but just to show you what it would look like. We have our 500 set for our detail scale. We have one to one for paper and drawing and everything now is ready. So let's go ahead and select OK. And again, this should look familiar, except your rectangle is smaller than it was before. So we're going to go to our drawing mode here and place our title block. So we'll need to pick that again. It's going to be our plan and profile border. And this time it's going to be our plan plan. So we'll double click that to make that our active cell. And then we're going to snap down to our bottom left and then reset. We're going to now proceed to move that attachment. So we'll select it and we're going to move this reference file. So I'm going to select the bottom left corner and we're going to put it up here in our top border boundary. Close that and then I'm going to move our handle for our boundary over here to the left and then move to our construction elements and then I'm going to save those settings. Now let's go back and review what we did here. At this point we essentially did everything we did in our single plan sheet placement except our height was different and our border was different to where we established the top. Now what we want to do is simply add a second boundary into this sheet model and that would complete the plan plan process. So to place this second named boundary or drawing boundary we want to switch over to admin and then use our home tab and then in drawing setup we will be able to
replace our second drawing boundary. So go ahead and open that up. And in this dialog you can see I've given it the same name, A1 plan dash plan, but then I gave it a suffix dash B, and I'll show you where that comes into play in just a minute. Make sure on your drawing type that you choose, in this case, civil plan, and then set your detail scale once again. And so once that is, is filled out, then you essentially snap to any of your opposite two corners, doesn't really matter which order, and then you place your drawing boundary identifier. So we'll do that here. Select it, and again, this time your snaps should already be set. The last thing I want to do here is I want to take a look at the properties of each of these drawing boundaries just to verify the names. And so you can see if we start at the top, we have the detail scale set. It's a civil plan. Drawing identifier number one, which means that one would be put in first, and then the bottom one would be put in second. So you'd have your lesser station values on the top and your greater station values on the bottom. And I'm going to give this a suffix just to be consistent A1 plan plan dash A. And then we look at this one, you'll see that that is essentially drawing identifier two, and it has a suffix of B. So we can now close that. Let's remember to turn off our construction class now. And it's OK that you don't see any boundary here, uh, because what you see at the top is actually first sheet. So let's save those settings. And then I'm going to jump back over to the plan plan in the drawing. And again, just to be consistent, we'll do the expand view, save settings. And then we'll jump back over then to default. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my bottom is set back to my profile view for consistency and save those settings. And that will complete the creation of our sheet definitions DG and Lib for a plan plan sheet. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.